Hey guys, back with episode 31 today, Football Manager 20, and this is the Aussie Villain Challenge. Today, uh, we're playing uh, two clubs that he has done in his FM20 saves this year. Uh, Watford, I believe I did believe he did a Watford, and uh, I know he's done a Brentford. He's currently in his Brentford save. Uh, but anyway, we have been struck down by injuries as of late. Uh, Alex Palmer, our goalkeeper, broke a toe in training. He'll be out for another two months. Uh, Ferend Rawson just uh, got injured in training. He'll be out two more weeks. Injured some lead ligaments. Uh, knee ligaments ligaments yeah those things and uh harvey elliott picked up a slight uh a fractured lower arm a slight injury fractured arm uh during our match with derby county those hooligans uh he'll be out for seven more weeks so uh yeah that's going on taking a look at the schedule uh, let's see, we uh, we drew with Redding, nil-nil, drew with Crew, 1-1, one, one. Aaron Collins scored a goal. Uh, it was at this point I brought in my Bielsa ball tactic uh, that I'm using, and we beat Luton 8-1. That was nice. Aaron Collins, a brace, Adam Ida, a hat trick, Harvey Elliott, a brace, and Leighton Stewart off the bench, and he picked up a 92nd minute goal. QPR, we lost 3-2. to two. Ida had a brace. Kiko was sent off in the 80th minute. And then McGinley gave up an own goal equalizer in the 82nd minute. And Dylan Levitt scored the game winner. So we collapsed a man down and let that one get away from us. Derby, we beat 3-2. Nico Williams, Joe Morrell, and Adam Ida with first half goals. Tyler Roberts, formerly of Leeds, scored early. Joe Lolly picked up a second half goal. They did have a player sent off in the 95th minute. So taking a look at the competition, we are just outside the playoff spots. 19 points, 5 wins, 4 draws, 1 defeat, and 16 plus 16 on goal differential. The draws are going to kill us this year, I can tell already. They're going to they're going to hurt us badly. And uh, let's see, let's jump up to the squad real quick because I know you guys like to do this every once in a while. So Adam Ida currently sitting 12 goals in 11 matches. He is astounding. Aaron Collins, 5 in 9. He is also on the verge of setting a becoming the I think it's the club leading scorer. He's got 52 or 53 career goals. Uh, we can look at that, I guess, can't we? Stats. No, not stats. History. History. There we go. Just for Forest Green, 20, 40. Yeah, 52. So 52 goals, and the leading score all time has 59. So he is certainly on his way to breaking that mark. Uh, Leighton Stewart, four goals. In eight appearances, seven of those off the bench, but he has been a pretty prolific scorer as well. Harvey Elliott has three and 11. Two goals, three assists for Craig Mitchell. Two goals, five assists for Nico Williams. And uh, we also have Scott Wharton and Harvey White with three assists each. Uh, we actually had an interesting looking goal. So Harvey White, you know, is our set piece uh, extraordinaire. And normally on set pieces, he just booms them in right at, right at the goal or into the box. We had one that was out directly away from goal. And I'd show it to you, but I don't remember which match it was. It was one of the ones here off camera. And uh, instead of kicking it, you know, putting up, putting height on it into the box, he actually slid it outside the wall, and one of our guys ran onto it. Uh, I think it was Collins, and uh, and scored the goal. So uh, really cheeky little goal there. Uh, so we are without uh, our starting keeper. So Lejubic will be in in the net. Uh, we are also missing our starting center half center back. So Ball will fill in there. Kiko White, Morrell, Freer, Collins on the wings. I wonder, Ida can only play there. Leighton Stewart, he cannot cross. All right, well, that's that's disappointing. You know what? I am going to, no, we're going to go with, we're going to go with Ida today. All right, 
There's our lineup. Let's get to the match. They're playing a 4-2-3-1. Uh, and let's get to it. Let's ask for some early creativity as I am wont to do. We're in the blue kits today. Williams, Collins, finds White in the middle. Quick ball out. And he finds Collins on the run, and he puts it in. His sixth of the season. That puts him on 53. Six goals away from equalizing the club record. All-time scoring record. What a goal. What a finish there. He is a man possessed. Adam Ida picks up his first yellow of the season. Is that Dolberg? Dahlberg? I recognize the name. Somebody must have had him on an episode that I watched. And across the goal, Freer, his first of the season. Ida with the assist. And Elliot Freer is on the score sheet for this season. With the injuries, he'll be getting a little bit more playing time. Uh, Shepard is complaining again about uh, not playing enough. So I, I'm, I really need to move him. He's just not... He's just not going to be the guy for us anymore. Uh, these guys are sticking together like eight-year-olds at the youth park. Dropped back. Williams cannot find us a space. We've got a counter opportunity. Yao Pedro into our box and can't finish, thankfully. We pushed him outside. Let's um, demand more. Williams with the long throw. There's a header to the back post. And Collins with his second of the game. And now he's at 54, closing in on that all-time mark. He should get there this season, you would have to believe, right? That gives us a 3-0 advantage. Kiko plays it back. Good ball movement. Reverses field. Freer. Always like it in White's hands or feet or wherever, whatever you want to use. Out to Collins. He chests it down. Cuts inside. He's taken down in the box. you got to think he's going to take the penalty. White would normally do that, but Collins is on the hat trick. And there it is. Number three of the first half. His eighth goal of the season, that puts him 55 and only four goals away from equalizing the club goal mark. Can he do it in this in this episode? That would be astounding. Let's give him some praise at 4-0. There's another tactic that I want to try. Uh, it's similar shape, similar, uh, you know, player positioning, but it's uh, from Bust the Net. Oh, Harvey White wind, winds up and just goes wide of the mark there. We're actually seeing some goals, so that's good, but what, when I was playing with this tactic in my, uh, in my solo save, it was like 10 shots, 7 on target, and, you know, one goal. You know, I had one match, I kid you not, one match, it was 42 shots, 24 on target, and we won the game 1-0. <laughs> and uh, being Bielsaball, I said, that is about the most Leeds United stat I've ever seen. I think uh, this tactic is uh, completely dialed in for Leeds United. Of course, uh, now we're acting like Leeds United in the Premier League where they take three shots and, and score th you know four goals. Or, <laughs> oh, VAR, definitely not over the line, I'm not thinking, even though they don't show it and you can't tell. Oh, uh, good save by the keeper, but it drops to Pedraza, who puts it in with no issue. That was a little hard done by. Great save. Who's this right here? McGinley. Probably got to get to that ball and clear it, fellas. Just thinking. 
All right, we got a lot of yellow cards here. Let's bring Oscar, and I'm going to bring Leighton Stewart on for Ida. A little early for our subs, but that's all right. All right, they're on a counter. Pedraza on a run again. Looks like we get back there. Oh, God, that was horrible. Yao Pedro, his fifth of the season, and I think McGinley just screwed the pooch there. Ball with a decent header out. Oh, it was Morel. He was playing it back to the keeper for Lejubic to clear it. Oh, my God. All right, we need to uh, tell him to concentrate. Yeah, they may be overwhelmed. I don't want to hear that shit. All right. All right, playing out of the back. Up to white. Some good triangle work there. White's into the attack zone. Wharton on the outside. Back to McGinley. Uh, I get nervous when they do this shit. Damn it. All right, let's jump into tactics here. All right, I'm going to slow the pace down. Let's regroup. So we won't be putting as much pressure, but hopefully we won't be opening ourselves up quite as much. And I'm going to drop our tempo back a little bit. Might not be the right things to do. I haven't really played around with tweaking the tactic. Let's do a time waster here. Uh, Scott Wharton, Liam Shepard. Get some fresh legs on there and get a yellow card off the field. It's Morgan on the break. Ball cannot control it. He loses his man. Oh, and that one goes thankfully wide. Boy, that would have ripped us open right there. Wow. All right, I'm, I am going to say excellent efforts. Not bad. It was better in the first half. Very leads like to let that get away from them. We're fined $6,400 for getting six yellow cards. Collins picks up the hat trick. And if we pop in on our goals here, so he's now up to eight, and that is 55, so he's four away from tying the club record. He's been prolific for us. Now, last year, 34 starts, only seven goals, but he was playing out wide last year because Ida had come into the middle. These first two years in League One, he was our strike. He was our number nine, so... That, that explains a little bit. But he's doing really well right now. All right, well, let's get up to the next uh, match. I will see you guys back here in just a second. All right, we are back for Brentford, the second leg of the Aussie Villain Challenge. Uh, so we are going with Ida up top, Freer Collins again on the wings, White, Morel, Kiko, Baya, Wharton, Ball, and Williams, and Lejubic Le in goal. Uh, Mirez, you know what? I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna give Mirez a start, and let's put, let's put Collins up top, and Hart out on the wing. So two changes, both on the right side. I don't think we lose a lot there. Collins up top. We'll have Ida on the bench if we need him. We do have a quite a, you know. One thing about the championship, man, 46 games is a slog. Just a complete slog. Now, Brentford are top of the table. That dude's tall. Oh, defender couldn't stay in front of him. 
Looks like a flip over the top. Maybe hit the crossbar. Yep, hit the woodwork. Wharton picks up another yellow card. We're not even using tighter marking. There's no get stuck in. That's odd. Uh, get creative again. Oh, there's a... Oh, Pontus. It had to have been Pontus. At least he didn't go over and do the swim move. I don't think he did the swim move. Back post. Ouch. Ouch. It hits me right here, Pontus. Demand more. Morel is anxious. I think... We just haven't had anything. Oh, wait. Hello. Freer's there. Play it off. It is Collins. Ugh. And now I have to question, would Ida have scored that goal? Would Ida have put that one in the net? All right. We are. Prove a point. I've got two yellows. Let's pop over to tactics. Don't really want to mess with anything, I don't guess. All right, let's just get back out. Let's ask him for some more creativity in the early going. Positive is fine. All right, Wharton. Kiko. Up to Freer. Oh, you had that guy on the right, on the left wing. There he is, Baia, on the overlap. Oh, he's taken down hard. He gets the ball back. Oh, good work. Back to White, edge of the box. Oh, White has just been off target this season. All right, um, Kiko, Kiko. He is a very good defensive midfielder. I do not have another center back. I could bring Morell back for him, and then we could bring on Oscar in the central mid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move Collins. I'm gonna move Collins over to Freer's spot, and then bring Ida on. I think having Ida on the bench, I think keeping that uh, the young English kid, I think having him on the bench is a mistake. We probably need, oh, it bounces in. Ida's back. Baia. Oh, two chances. It does set up a corner. Morell. Nothing. Nothing comes of it. Let's go up to attacking. We need to be a little more aggressive. Oh, there's a ball over the top. Ida's there. Oh, my God. He puts it off the... <laughs> no, no, no. Ida does not miss that shot. Oh, that was a classic Ida opportunity. All right, Baia, let's get Shepard on. Mirez, deep into the box. Ida heads it, and it goes wide again. We have controlled this game. White, oh, taken away. Come on, come on. Pounce. Somebody, somebody do something. Oh, there, oh, there was the opportunity and a foul. Oh, and it was on him. He's going to be sent off. They're going to be a man down. Second yellow. 
All right, we want to push forward. I don't have any more subs. We're already attacking white. In the, I thought the net bulged. Ida was off sides. If white put it directly into the net, then Ida doesn't matter. Oh, that's just disheartening. That is gut-wrenching. White steps over, and he's off target again. Oh, here's a counter opportunity. Looks like we've got enough defenders back. He picks out the open man on the wing. That goes wide of the mark. Come on. And they're going to have the last highlight. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Come on. Oh, he jumps over that tackle. Come on, boys. Oh, he just plays it out of bounds. He panicked. He panicked. Come on, we've got one more opportunity. Does that go out for a corner? Yep. Last shot, guys. Last shot. Can we steal a point? No. Near post, it's headed out. Nobody's there. Oh, man. I'm going to say we got done in. We didn't control possession, but we, we dominated that game statistically. They did play well. Oh, that's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. We're still sixth in the table at 22 points. Brentford on 34. Looks like they're going to possibly cruise away with this uh, with the lead here. Stokes right up there making a run to separate. We don't want to fall too far behind that. We're only six points off if we're going to have a shot at promotion this year. Oh, Gary Monk fired by Leeds. If Leeds come calling, guys, I'm going to be hard done by not to take that job. You remember last time I applied for the job, declared interest, and got hired. They offered me the job. But I had saved that as a separate save. In this save, I did not declare interest. I did not apply. I waited for them to call me. And they did not. And I'm not one of interest for them right now either. Let's see. Their three-star reputation, right? I'm right at three-star reputation. There's no reason I'm not good enough for Leeds United. There's no reason that I am not good enough for Leeds United right now. Uh, but going back to Leeds, we look at head coaches. So they sacked Coburn after Bielsa resigned, and he left mid-season. I wonder why he left. He's at Inter Milan now. Well, that would be why. Um, milestones? There we are. So he went to Bayern Munich. Interesting. And was fired after finishing runner-up in the Pokal, third in the league, and he got fired. You'd still be at Leeds, Marcelo. You're, you're a cultural icon at Leeds right now, I promise. You'd be there as long as you want. And then he goes to Inter Milan. All right, so then they hired Strachan. Gordon, Gordon's a, a, Leeds, a Leeds legend, but right? Well, maybe not. A legend might be a little overstepped, but, but he is a known personality at Leeds. He lasted a year and got sacked. But look at his age. I mean, why are you, you know, okay. Then they hire Fran. I don't know who Fran is. Fran must be one of their assistants. Interim position. Gary Monk. He doesn't last even a year. 
and then Franz back in. It'll be interesting to see. We'll see if they if they come calling again, but probably not. So in the Aussie Villain Challenge, we take three points from Watford. We drop a match to Brentford that we arguably should have won. I would have liked a little more possession there, but that uh, wasn't meant to be. I mean, they are a good side, just, just relegated. Uh, so let's come back. Uh, I tell you what, let's come back for Leeds Blackburn at the end of October. And then we'll get into... Or, yeah, let's do Leeds Blackburn, and then we'll get into the inter, uh, to the international and winter break. That's a long ass break. Is there something going on this year? Twenty two. Are we in the World Cup this year? World Cup. Ah, there is a World Cup this year, so yeah, there is going to be a longer international break. Let's take a look at that just real quick. So Ghana, Jamaica, Qatar, and Uruguay. And this is in Qatar. Okay, so that's why they're in it. Argentina, England, Mexico, Scotland. You would think England would get through that group. Brazil, the Czech, Mali, USA. Can the USA get ahead of the Czech Republic? Can they get ahead of Mali? Australia, Chile, Poland, and Spain. I'm thinking... Spain and Chile come out of that one, maybe. Curacao, or Curacao, Italy, Nigeria, Portugal. I'm thinking Italy and Portugal. France and Holland out of that group. Colombia. Colombia is one of those South American clubs that you just never know what you're going to get. I'm thinking Belgium and either Colombia or Turkey out of that one. Germany and Japan probably out of this one. So that's in November. So we'll check back on the World Cup. I thought that was a little bit of a long break. So, yeah, but let's come back for Leeds and Blackburn. That'll give us another handful of games in league, and we can see where we're at at that point and uh, then get moved into the second half of the season. Probably come back for... FA Cup third round, whoever we're going to be playing at that point. And maybe Millwall. That would be a good uh, bookend. Three matches in, two matches in three days. That's going to be, we start getting slammed right here, man. It's just matches on top of matches. Oof. And Middlesbrough is going to have to be rescheduled. I mean, we can't play two matches on the same day. All right, well, a lot going on. I started to ramble. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you're new. Talk to me in the comments about what's going on. And uh, somebody let Aussie Villain know that uh, he ruined my episode by Brentford beating me 1-0. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Bye.